Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you from Reading Town again. It's good to see you. Let's take a look at today's article. And if you look at the picture, I don't know if you can see it clearly, but that's a hole in the street. So it says activists plant flowers in potholes. So if you are familiar with potholes, it's when water gets into the street, right? So we know that street is covered with this black rock and that's called asphalt. And asphalt, it's got tiny holes in it. It's, it's like pebbles, small pieces of rock that's put together by something sticky called tar. And that's what they put on the roads. But when the rain comes, it goes inside of the asphalt on the street. And when it uh, freezes over, then it starts to expand. But then when the weather gets warmer, then all of that ice in the street, it starts to melt. And that's when the pebbles start breaking apart and causing these holes. So in America, we see a lot of potholes in the streets uh, because we see a lot of these uh, holes forming as the weather changes. So likewise in Korea, you may see it, uh, but only your parents, because they drive a lot, might be able to recognize it. So we see these holes on the street and those are called potholes and they're very dangerous when you're driving. So let's find out what's going on and where this story is focused on. It says potholes have long been a problem for the historic city of Bath, England. So now we're focusing in a historic city, uh, an old city that has a lot of history, uh, and it's called Bath and it's in England. Uh, so they have been a problem for a long time. As Bath's roads continue to deteriorate, the number of potholes have increased and the problem has grown bigger than ever before. So if you look at the sentence, it says uh, the Bath's roads continue to deteriorate. So when you say deteriorate, that means fall apart, break down. So uh, the roads in the city of Bath, they have continued to break down. They keep uh, getting worse and worse. The number of potholes have increased. So remember, increase means uh, the number is going up, the antonym of decrease. So the number of potholes, these holes in the streets, they have continued to go up. And the problem has grown bigger than ever before. So it's becoming more of a problem. Many cyclists and motorists have been threatened by the danger of the potholes and a group of residents have planted flowers in the potholes to remedy the problem. So if you look at the sentence, many cyclists, if you look at the word cyclists, you see the root word cycle and that's for like a bicycle. So people who ride bikes. Uh, so those are cyclists and motorists. Motorists are people who drive motor vehicles. So those are people who are driving cars. So many people who ride bikes, many people who drive cars have been threatened by the danger. So threatened means uh, you're no longer safe, right? So you're put in danger or the risk because of these holes in the street. So what, what are they doing? A group of residents, residents are people living uh, in an area or living in a particular place or town. So the people living uh, in those places in Bath, England, they have planted flowers in the potholes to remedy or fix Right? Remedy, we use that when we have uh, like a sickness and we take a medicine and we feel better, we call that a remedy. So the medicine becomes a remedy to the problem or the solution, the answer, the way to fix it. So they found that because there's more and more potholes, they need to do something about it because it's not safe. It's not safe if you're riding a bicycle and you see this hole, you may fall in it and you may uh, bust your tire and you might get hurt. If you're driving a car, you can get a flat tire and get into a car accident. So these uh, are very dangerous and because there's more and more of it, the people living in those neighborhoods, they decided to do something about it. And their solution, the way that they want to fix it, is by planting flowers as you can see in that picture. Very interesting. The second paragraph, it says, they have planted pansies on streets in the Lark Hall and Camden areas of Bath, which are UNESCO World Heritage Sites. So I don't know if you're familiar with UNESCO World Heritage Sites, but if you've traveled around the world, these are places that are being protected because it's very unique, it's very special. So there are places that are natural or man-made uh, that the, the World Heritage uh, UNESCO, that group, uh, makes sure that it's protected so that people around the world can visit it and see it because it's so wonderful. So this uh, place, the streets uh, in Lark Hall and Camden, those small towns within the area of Bath, they are protected sites. 
And what did the residents, the people living there do? They planted、uh, flowers called pansies. Pansies are garden flowers, and you can see them in the picture. So inside of the potholes, they planted these picture,、uh, they planted these、uh, flowers. They started this project to raise awareness. Of the government and warn against the danger of potholes. So why did people do this? Because they thought it was fun. Well, they did this so that they can raise awareness. Raise awareness means they wanted more and more people to know about the problem. Okay.、Uh, and in January, the local city council received a 4.4 million pounds grant to repair the potholes, but still thousands of potholes remain. So in England, they use pounds, not dollars or one. So that symbol is of their money symbol. So they got 4.4 million pounds, and a grant is money that is given so that they can do something, and it's given for free. And it was that money was given to repair or fix the potholes, right? A local city council is within a town. It's the leaders of the town who come together and they talk about how to solve problems and make that town better. So that、uh, the the group that is in charge of that town. They were able to get this grant or free money、uh, to fix the problems、uh, from the government. Okay,、uh, but still, that's not enough because there's more and more potholes left.、Uh, one of the activists said, "Potholes are a real problem and have the potential to be death traps for bikers and cyclists. And with cars, there is an issue with blowouts to wheels." So one of the activists. Activist is a person who wants to stop something, right? Who is against something, trying to raise awareness and wants to end some problem. So we know that an activist wants to stop these potholes. They want to let people know that this is a problem. So that person said, potholes are a real problem, and they have the potential. Potential means they have a high chance, right? They have a chance of. Being death traps, so、uh, it could be something that can、uh, potentially, right, has a chance to hurt people and even kill people in a in a, in a very bad accident. So for bikers and for cyclists,、uh, we talked about cyclists or people who、uh, ride something with a wheel,、uh, like bikers. And, and with cars, there's an issue with blowouts to wheels. So what do you think blowouts to wheels means? That's right. It means that the tires can blow out or explode. So if you hit a pothole. Right, it can damage your tires and cause large accidents, and that's why activists like this are saying you need to be aware of it because it's dangerous.、Uh, but the activists want to keep going. It it is a serious matter. We want to make them look nice so people take notice and possibly get involved themselves. So because it's not、uh, something that they should take lightly, it's a serious problem because it can hurt many people. Because of that, not only are they trying to raise awareness by telling people, but by putting flowers in it, more and more people would be interested and they would find out and decide to help. So not only are they doing this just for decoration, just so that it looks nice, but they're also doing this so that more and more people can come to be、uh, aware of it, raise awareness, and know that this is a serious problem. So this is very interesting and a very creative way to solve a problem that could be potentially or has a large chance of being very dangerous. Very interesting.、Uh, this news coming to us from Bath, England. Let's take a look at our comprehension questions for today. Uh, if you look at a picture, that's a closer picture of what the pothole looks like, and we see the flower, the pansy that is planted in the pothole to raise awareness. So let's take a look at today's question. What kinds of flower did they plant? I just said it, and we talked about it. This is a type of a garden plant, and if you look in the picture, you can see it. And the flower is a pansy. So the plural is pansies. So the pansy flower, a garden flower, is what they're using to put inside of those potholes. What was the purpose of the project? So, what is the goal? Was there a goal to make money? Was there a goal to bring more people into the city of Bath, England, for tourism? What do you think? What do you remember? So we talked about how dangerous it was. So there were two goals. The first goal was to raise awareness of the government. Right, or、uh, they wanted more and more people to know, especially the government, and warn against the dangers of potholes. They also wanted to tell people and show them, teach them that potholes are very dangerous. So those are the two reasons、uh, that they started this project. Number、uh, the first part C. It says how much money did the local city council receive in January? So we said local city council is the leaders in a town. So how much money did they receive in January? We said that it wasn't dollars, it wasn't one, but we said that they use a currency, the money called pounds. 
uh, over there in England. And how much was it? Do you remember? It was a large amount and it was 4.4 million pounds. So that's how much they received to fix this problem in the city of Bath. And our last portion is the fill in the blank. So let's take a look at what it says. It says, A, potholes have long been a problem for the blank city of Bath, England. So if we look at the sentence, uh, we know that there is a word that helps us understand uh, more about the city of Bath, England. And if you look at the Korean sentence, it tells you that the adjective there is what kind of city? It's a historic city. Right? So it's a city that's rich in history, meaning it's been around for a long time. There's a lot of things about it that's important that we should learn about. So it's a historic city. Let's look at the second part. It says, as Bath's Road continued to something, the number of potholes have increased and the problem has grown bigger than ever before. So if you see the word increase that we said earlier means go up. So as Bath's Roads continue to something, potholes are showing up more and more. So we talked about this word earlier too. It means breaking down or falling apart. And that is deteriorate. So as baths will continue to deteriorate, we see problems like potholes and they're growing more and more bigger than ever before. So deteriorate, get worse and worse, break down. And the last question, many cyclists and motorists have been blank by the danger of the potholes. So we also talked about this sentence too. So we said that they are uh, not in a safe position, but they are uh, being put in a situation where it's dangerous or it could be very dangerous. So it's not something that's safe, so it's the antonym of that. So they're threatened, right? So there is a threat of being in danger because of these holes in the ground. So I hope that through this um, article that you realize that there are many creative ways that we can solve problems. In the city of Bath, England, we know that they have a problem of potholes, which could be dangerous for drivers as well as cyclists. But what are they doing? They're raising awareness. I think that's the first step in solving problems, letting more and more people know so that you can get their help so that they can be uh, part of the solution as well. So as they work together to fix problems like potholes in the streets, uh, we see that it takes teamwork and it takes uh, education. People need to know about this first. Well, now that you know, you can share about this problem. And if you see a pothole in your neighborhood, well, maybe you can copy this idea and try to solve it yourself. Well, this is a very interesting article. I hope you share it with your friends. Uh, be safe out there as you ride your bikes and drive your cars. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.